Assalamu alaikum my dear students. Today inshallah we are still with light and dark topic and we are going to learn about shadows. So what are the learning objective and success criteria for our topic today? One, describe what is shadow and how shadows are formed. So at the end of the class you should know how to form a shadow. Two, Identify and sort objects as transparent, translucent, and opaque. So we have three types of objects. And the last one is identify which type of objects forms the best shadows. So from here we understand that some of these objects cannot form good shadows. Okay. 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 Don't panic and don't be afraid. This is nothing but shadow, okay? So this is like uh, a puppet shadow show. So let us learn how these shadows are formed. Look at this cute girl here. <laughs> she is afraid of her own shadow because she don't know how these shadows are formed. She don't know that this is her own shadow. So let us learn today how these shadows are formed. Shadow is formed when light is blocked by an object. Light must be blocked by an object. Okay, so from here we understand that we need a light source. So there must be a light source to form a shadow. Okay, it can be natural or artificial they are all sources of light. The second thing that we need is an object to block the passage of the light. Here we have the teddy. The teddy is blocking the passage of the light from the torch. Okay, so the place where the teddy is blocking the light, that is where the shadow will form. And the space surrounding this teddy will still have light. Okay. Now look at this man. He is doing what? He is forming a shadow on the wall. There is a light source. We can see the torch. An object that is blocking the light is the man's body part. Okay. So when he is using his hand to block the light that is coming from the torch, there is shadow formed on the wall. Okay, so shadows are formed when light is blocked by an object. But uh, do all objects form shadow? We are going to know this. So what type of objects can produce shadows when exposed to light? So again, it means that not all objects can form shadows or can form good dark shadows. Okay, let us uh, move now. There are three types of objects. Three types of objects. The first one is transparent object. Transparent object. Okay, when we look at the object that this boy is holding in front of his face, we can see his face clearly, right? So, if we can see the face of this boy clearly, it means that the light... Okay, so the light here passed through this object. So, transparent objects allows all the light to pass through them so we can see through them clearly so what do you think is there any light blocked in these types of objects transparent objects transparent objects allows all the light to pass through them is there any light blocked no okay so do you think these types of objects can form shadows no, because shadow formed when light is blocked by an object. But now here, 
These types of objects allows all the light to pass through them. So there is no blocked light. Examples of transparent objects, the window glass, clear plastic bags that we can see everything inside it clearly, and the air. So these types of objects cannot form a shadow because it allows all the light to pass through them. Let us move to the second type of objects, translucent. Translucent objects allows some light to pass through them. So now when we look at the boy's face, we can see his face but not clear like when it was at the transparent objects. So here there is some light passing through the translucent objects and some light is blocked. So here there will be shadow but light shadow. Light shadow because some light is blocked. Okay, example of these translucent objects is the sunglasses. Okay, we still can see through them, right? Okay, fabric and tissue paper. So these translucent objects will form shadow, but not a very dark shadows. The last or the third opaque object is the opaque object. Okay, opaque objects allows no light to pass through them. There is no light passing here. So the light is blocked by an opaque object. Okay, think about it. Example, school bag. Can you see your books inside the bag? We cannot. Okay, so there is no light entering through the bag and hit the book so that they are reflected and enter our eyes so that we can see them. A wood door. Can you see what is behind the wood door when it's closed? We cannot. Our body parts are also opaque objects. So, opaque objects blocks all the light. Do not allow any light to pass through them. So what do you think? Which one is the best type of object to um, produce a good or to form a good shadow? It will be the opaque objects. Opaque objects forms the best shadows because they block all the light and they do not allow any light to pass through them. Okay. So what is your task for today? I want you to bring a source of light and three different types of objects. Translucent, transparent and opaque. What you're going to do is shine a bright light on a wall and put the three types of objects between the light and the wall. Take a video of yourself explaining the differences between the shadows formed. Okay, so you have to tell me, do you, do you see any shadow, for example, when you put a transparent object between the wall and the source of light? Did you see any uh, shadow when you uh, placed a translucent object between the wall and the uh, uh, source of light? And how was it? And also the same thing with the opaque object. Hope you understand today's class. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.